So, so like, how, how I mean, everything you do, and, and like, from my perspective, it's political. Like, you just like what you just touched upon, that's political, but that's, you know, that affects your city, that affects your people, and I understand. So, like, where did that passion come from? Like, obviously, you've seen the people, but like, specifically, like, who did it affect that you felt like, man, like, this person can't do it, I have to do it for them? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I want to I want to touch back on something that you said that was very important. All right. You said that a lot of what I do seems political, yeah. right? I don't see it as political. I don't see it as political. Mm-hmm. I see it as personal, okay. right? I say that I see it as like it's humane to do this. Like like for reals. Let's think about like what are some arguments to not pass rent control. No, what is there aren't. I, there aren't. I mean, no, no, they're unless all. you're the landlord. No, yeah, unless you're right? the landlord. Yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But, the, but, 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 for reals, for reals, let's 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 be serious really quick. I want the mm-hmm. listeners to, to listen to this question that I got for them. Think of an argument against rent control. Think of that argument. Who who gains? Who loses? Mm-hmm. Right. You can think of arguments, but if you really, really listen to the arguments that you put forth. They sound almost ridiculous. They sound almost ridiculous, right? Like almost to the fact that you have no consideration of human being life. Yeah. 